On the earth proclaim the Lord, sing your praise to God. On the earth proclaim the Lord, sing your praise to God. Worship the Lord, hearts filled with gladness. Come into his presence singing for joy. Oh, we proclaim the Lord, sing your praise to God. Enter his gates, bringing thanksgiving. Oh, enter his courts while singing his praise. We gather before the Blessed Sacrament to adore the Lord and to praise Him and thank Him for His numerous blessings and also to worship and glorify Him for He is a God who has created us and is generous in His love, mercy and forgiveness. October is the month of the Rosary where we draw strength from the intercession of Mother Mary. We thank God for the gift of guardian angels. We also celebrate Thanksgiving Day in our Archdiocese during this month. And the memorial of the saint of nature, Francis of Assisi. Mary was the handmaid of the Lord, God's precious disciple, who praised God from the depths of her heart. Let us join her then in praising and thanking God in the words of the Magnificat in Luke chapter 1, verse 46 to 55. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For God has looked with favor on the loneliness of the Almighty Servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is God's name. God's mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. God has shown his strength with God's arm. God has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. God has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God has helped serve in Israel in remembrance of God's mercy, according to the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary's tongue flows with the praise she has for God, for all that he has been to his people. She represents the people of Israel, grateful for all that God has been for them, for helping them be saved from their difficulties in Egypt, for journeying with them across the promised land, for providing for them from his generosity, for being faithful to his promise to Abraham and all his descendants, which include all of us as well, and most importantly, for choosing her as the mother of Jesus. Let us spend some time now 
in recalling all the blessings that God has been showering on us, his children. For the gift of life, for our families, our talents, our friends, our homes, our neighbors, our health, our occupation, the food we enjoy. Let us fill our minds with the memories of his generous love. Thank you for giving me the morning. Thank you for every day that's new. Thank you that I can know my worries can be cast on you. Thank you for all my friends and peaceful. Thank you for everyone that lives. Thank you for even greatest enemies I can forgive. Thank you, I have my occupation. Thank you for every pleasure small. Thank you for music like and gladness. Thank you for them all. As we recall the blessings we receive from God, our response is, we praise you and thank you, O God. We praise you and thank you, O God. Together. We praise you and thank you, O God. We give thanks for the gift of life, for our parents and ancestors, for the family we belong to, for our children and grandchildren and successive generations, for our homes, for our food, for our occupation that provides us with our resources for our daily needs, for our pets, for our household helps, for colleagues at work, for neighbors who care. All together, we praise you and thank you, O God. We appreciate you, God, for the gift of faith, for the church, for Pope Francis and all the spiritual leaders for our own parish fathers, for the religious who help in St. Anthony's home, for our PPC leaders, our animators, our lectors and cantors, our extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, 
our associations and their members, our parishioners, the youth, children, the senior citizens. All together, we praise you and thank you, O God. We are grateful for all those who are on the front lines in the war against the pandemic, the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers, hospitals and nursing homes, for priests who attend to the spiritual needs of the sick, our own family physicians, teachers and professors, for NGOs and individuals who provided rations, our corporators, municipal workers, bank employees, professionals, household helps, drivers, shops and vendors, entertainers, chefs and stewards, hotels and restaurants, home delivery staff, security guards. All together, we praise you and thank you, O God. We praise you, God, for the events we were able to celebrate. New birth in the family, baptisms, marriages, engagements, birthdays, and anniversaries, for the moments we were able to come together as a family and friends and neighborhood. We also remember our dearly departed with gratitude for all that they meant, for their love and concern, for bringing joy to us. And even as we grieve, we are grateful to you for being with us in our pain. All together, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. We acknowledge, O Lord, all the lessons learned from the pandemic to realize how precious life is and so also the people. To understand that when we are attacked by evil, you never abandon us but journey with us all together. We praise you and thank you, O God. God, let his love remind us of the power of his name. Praise God, praise God, all creation sings its song of praise. I will praise you, God and King, each and every day. My mouth shall never cease to sing, and I will praise your name forever. Praise God. Praise God, let his love remind us of the power of his name. Praise God, praise God, all creation sings a song of praise. The splendor of your majesty is joyfully retold. The fame of your abundant good and justice we will sing forever. Praise God, praise God, let his love remind us of the power of his name. Praise God, praise God, all creation sings its song of praise. St. Francis of Assisi spent much of his time preaching about animals, exhorting that all creatures are brothers and sisters under God. 
He is celebrated as patron saint of ecologists. In some ways, Saint Francis of Assisi could be viewed as the original Earth Day advocate. Not only did he care for the poor and sick, but he preached multiple sermons on animals and wanted all creatures on earth, including humans, to be treated as equals under God. Some of his sermons included stories about birds, fish, and rabbits. St. Francis was a pious figure who cared about the environment and wildlife and made it his mission to spread awareness through his sermons. Through reforestation, environmental education, climate activism, and the protection of endangered species around the world, St. Francis' message and celebration of Earth continues today. Let us listen to the canticle of praise to God composed by St. Francis for the gift of creation. Most high, all-powerful, good Lord, you are the praises, the glory, and the honor, and all blessing. To you alone, most high, do they belong, and no human is worthy to mention your name. Praise be you, my Lord, with all your creatures, especially Sir Brother Son, who is the day and through whom you give us light. And he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor and bears a likeness of you, Most High One. Praised be you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars, in heaven you form them clear and precious and beautiful. Praise be you, my Lord, through brother wind, and through the air, cloudy and serene, and every kind of weather, through whom you give sustenance to your creatures. Praised be you, my Lord, through Sister Water, who is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praised be you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light the night, and he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praise be you, my Lord, through our sister, Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us, and who produces various fruit with colored flowers and herbs. Praise be you, my Lord, through these who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Praise and bless my Lord and give him thanks and serve him with great humility. We pray in silence, thanking God for the gift of the environment, our common home, and we pray that we may be worthy stewards of creation.
as stewards of creation we pray that we may be channels of peace love faith joy hope and healing make me an instrument of your peace make me an instrument of the sacrament of salvation for all people make us feel more urgently the call to work for the salvation of all nations until you have made us into one people inspire the hearts of all to continue the saving work of Jesus everywhere until the end of the world grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception, blessed be her glorious assumption, blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother, Blessed be Saint Joseph, a most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.
Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget his love? Though a mother forsake her child, he will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God.